welcome back. In this video, we're going to explain how we got to Finland. So, um, I am from Missouri, and Sarah's from Tennessee. Um, so, instead of one of us driving to the other state, um, we decided to meet up in New Jersey. Um, so, each of us had a two-hour flight to New Jersey. They were very early in the morning mm -hmm. um, on December 27th, we think. Um, <laughs> So, um, I woke up at 3 a.m. I don't know what time. I left at 3 a.m. Um, so, uh, yeah, the flight wasn't super entertaining being alone. Um, yeah, they were each two hours, and mine was personally very cold. I was yeah. freezing. Um, we met in Newark Airport, um, and we got there around 9 in the morning, um, and we didn't leave until, like, 7 that night, so we had a lot of time to spare. Um, so we spent a lot of time, like, getting our luggage, getting something to eat, and just hanging around. Um, <laughs> we were, like, the first people that checked through security for our flight, um, and then we decided that it was a good idea to go ahead and get rid of most of our American money so that we can get some euros, um, because I had a cash exchange place in the airport, um, so we did that and got some euros so that we would be actually be able to spend the money. Yes. Um, um, so after our nine-hour layover, um, we got on a seven-hour flight, and both of us were really tired at that point getting onto the flight, but we decided that we didn't want to go to sleep on the flight until the very end of the flight so that jet lag wasn't yeah, that big of a thing. I was just really tired, um, so I tried to go to sleep, but then like, a little bit through it, they offer you um, some dinner, I think, <laughs> um, but it was at like midnight, so it was not really dinner. Um, and that was interesting because it was actually um, Norwegian food because we were flying to Oslo. Um, and then the intercoms and everything was in um, Norwegian. Yes. Uh, so we didn't understand the flight. But um, <laughs> people kept waking up and, like, they kept turning on the lights. So it was hard to sleep on that plane. And then at about, like, 5.30 in the morning, um, they serve you breakfast. But it was also Norwegian breakfast. And I didn't eat anything for breakfast. It wasn't the best food. Um, <laughs> Dinner was better than breakfast. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so we touched down in Oslo um, pretty early yeah. that morning, but we were so tired. Um, so then we had about like a four to six hour layover in yeah, Oslo. Yeah, six hour layover. Yeah, six hour um, layover. At this point, we had slept for maybe an hour in the past 24. Um, the entire time that we were in airports and on airplanes was 29 hours. Um, so that was around hour, I don't know, I guess 19-ish. Um, so we had only slept for an hour. Um, so in that airport, we had a six hour layover. So at first we were getting food and we were just looking around and everything. And their airports are quite different than American airports. So we were trying to figure out the airport as well. Um, and eventually <laughs> around noon, we <laughs> decided that we were just so extremely tired and we had Wi-Fi <laughs> finally that we wanted to just chill in one of the gates and either watch Netflix or whatever. But the problem was both we, of us fell asleep. We fell asleep in a random <laughs> gate in the airport and people thought we were weird. But it's fine um, because we got another hour of sleep. Yes. Um, and then we got on like a two and a half hour plane ride from Oslo to Helsinki. Um, and we finally touched down in Helsinki um, later that afternoon. Um, and I was really screwed up about what day or what time it was. Yeah, we had no we idea know. what was going on. And both of us were very irritable because we haven't slept in 29 hours. Yeah. Um, we were both very tired. Um, yes. It was not good for us getting along, honestly. And no, no. <laughs> so we touched down in the airport, and everything at that airport was in Finnish. So we, again, didn't know what we were doing. Um and we needed to get to our hostel because we had already made a reservation for our hostel in Helsinki. So what did we do, Sarah? Um, so I asked somebody how you get there, and he told us to get on the train and then take a taxi. So we got on the train, and then we realized that you needed a train pass to get on the train. We did not get... So we went to the airport, like, air tram, they called it. Um, and the first train that pulled up, Sarah said, that's the one! And then we got on that okay, train. Okay, wait, no. There was a sign that said the name of the town that we were going to, or part of Helsinki that we were going to, so we got on the train, and it was the correct train. Thank you. Um, but we didn't have the little train pass, and we didn't realize that was a thing. Um, so if we would have gotten caught, it would have been, like, a penalty of, like, 80 euros, but it's fine, because we didn't. Um, and then we got 
out, off of the train very fast um, with a lot of suitcases. So that <laughs> there was were hard. so many suitcases. Maybe a lot of suitcases. So um, we got all the way and we followed the taxi picture because. We couldn't read any of the signs, um, and then we got a taxi um, to our hostel. We didn't know exactly if we were supposed to tip the taxi guy, um, so we didn't. So And you're not supposed to, so it's yeah. all good. Um, yeah, so the first thing we did was check into our hostel, and then we hadn't eaten anything all day. Um, so we got some food at a local pizza place because we also couldn't read the name of the restaurants at all. In but Helsinki. we could read the word pizza. <laughs> but there was a picture of a pizza, so we went in, and then we couldn't read the menu. But, so, But there was one called the American, American pizza. pizza. So we were like, we want the American pizza. And then it took about five minutes for us to stop, or for the guy at the pizza place to be like, that's a number eight. And I'm like... Okay, we want that one. Um, so yeah. that took a while. Um, so finally they gave us the American pizza. Yes. And I don't know why ham and pineapple means American, but it does. So we got some ham and pineapple pizza. Yeah, um, um, so we finally got something to eat and we went back to our hostel. And then we slept for the next 17 hours straight. <laughs> because we were very we were tired. Um, yeah. So we... Um, are running out of time in this video, so we will make another video about our um, experiences in Helsinki and getting to Konkumpa. Yeah. Um, so see you in a little bit. <laughs>